What is up YouTubers? This is your boy Scartoon and I'm here today to bring you another Bleach Brave Souls video. I'm going to be doing the 6 star 100% character analysis on none other than Ichi Buntai Taicho Yamamoto Genryusai Shingekuni That's right, I'm going to be doing the 6 star 100% character analysis on Shingekuni Genryusai Yamamoto the first squad captain and also the head captain commander of the Gotai 13. So without further ado, let's get into the OG of OGs. Alright, so looking at his stats, he's got pretty shaky kind of looking stats. Uh, let's, let's go over them, okay? 734 stamina, this is acceptable for 6 stars, okay? 700 is, it's alright, I guess, as long as it's not 600 like some people I know. All right, his attack is 475. This is not so good. It's kind of a bummer. It's 25 off of 500, and 500 is not even like a top tier attack, really. So, eh, we get that. Next, defense, 265. Um, this is a little higher. It's on the higher side for most defenses, but I'm not a fan of it. All right, focus, 260. This is this is kind of like I'm seeing 260 focuses on on the reg, but you know it's. To me, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. And uh, lastly, 531 Spiritual Pressure. This is probably his only redeemable aspect on this card, aside from his stamina. And I, I guess it's okay. Um, he also has a Fire Duration minus 65% Soul Trait, which is not all that cool. Alright, so let's get into his Soul Trait. Alright, so, if you look at his Soul Trait, wow. He has seven attainable upgrades, none of which block his path to going to a 150. So all you have to do is augment him and then provide him with the necessary jewels to level up. And he's going to require the SP jewels for that. Dang, who would have guessed it, right? So yeah, um, let's go over these from top to bottom, left to right. Sprinter, of course. You know that every character is going to have this. It just increases the flash steps by one. Next, Adrenaline increases his normal attack speed. Thank God, because he had Kenny-like sluggish speed back in the day. It was okay. Next, Havoc increases strong attack area of effect. Alright. Next, Bruiser increases the normal attack damage. That is a plus. Potential NAD build there. Next, Berserker increases strong attack damage. Potential sad. Good. Next, Blast Zone. This increases the area of effect of his special move. This was probably much needed, but I don't really care about it. And lastly, Long Reach. This increases the attack area, his normal attack area of effect. Ah, uh, we'll see about that. Alright, so those are all his attainable upgrades he's looking pretty clean only had one augmentation to his special he does have an augmentation to his normal attack and strong attack so that's pretty good but without further ado guys please enjoy the clips running a sad build can <coughs> patchy raid quest Full boosterinos, sad build, let's get it. Well, all right, so since we're running a sad build, you know what we gotta do, test out those cooldown times. So first strong attack, eight seconds. Second strong attack, 16 seconds. And last strong attack, dare I say is it 24 seconds? Yes, it is. All right, so fairly normal cooldown times by regular standards and um, Let's just get into how much damage is this guy doing. Alright, so he's doing... I mean, that, that first strong attack does some pretty serious damage there. Alright. Because it's, it's a two-hitter, and it hits at, like... Wow, two to three K, which is pretty interesting. To say the least. Alright. It's pretty interesting. Once again, not really able to knock out entry-level mobs, but he does do impressive damage, not for nothing. I mean, 6k on the very first one, and it's the one that's going to be cooling down at a more consistent rate, so, you know, the one you're going to be doing the most is preferably the best to actually have, like, double hits on it. 
And it's not little baby broken up hits. No, these are two solid kind of hits. You know, slapping for, you know, 2K a swipe, which is pretty decent for your first strong attack. The other two are kind of like really meaty hits. Uh, somewhere around 3K, 4 on the third. Yeah, you see that? 3, 3.5, somewhere like that. But the first strong attack actually being able to hit um, that, that that much is pretty decent. I just don't like the fact that his range kind of sucks. Despite the fact that he actually had augmentation to his um, normal attack area of effect and his strong attack area of effect, it kind of just, uh, it stinks to me. I don't like this, and yeah, he does pretty basic damage when it comes to a NAD build, like, well, his NAD, basic, you know, it's 700, that's something that I wouldn't expect, though, because he has such a low stack count with his attack, so, it's pretty interesting, to say the least, but yeah, there you have it, that's a sad build, um, it's fairly good, I'll say it's pretty viable, sad build, gonna do Genryu Sai special, no tension, though, just the special yeah uh, oh wow okay that was rude running a SAR build Kenpachi raid quest full boosterinos let's get it poppin SAR well alright so First things first, let's test out those cooldown times. So first strong attack, five seconds, it's like six seconds, kind of, 5.5. Next strong attack, 11 seconds, and last strong attack, 16 seconds, as normal, since he has fairly standard cooldowns. So since we're just running a SAR build, we're just gonna test out, you know, how he pretty much works in conjunction with uh, his normal and strong attacks, just, you know, knocking back mobs and kind of taking advantage of when he knocks them back or just taking advantage of um, more frequent cooldowns. But you know what? I just don't like when you have to have mobs so close to you. I feel like if he had just a little bit more range on some of these attacks, they they prove to be a little bit better, but they just seem kind of annoying that he has to just get so freaking close. Like, I'm not a fan of that. But the frequent cooldown times just do, they do make up for it. And it's not like he's hitting like Myri. He's actually hitting with decent tenacity. And I kind of like that. Even without, you know, a whole bunch of um, strong attack damage. You know, of course, you did see that he did a lot more damage on that first strong attack with a sad build. But, you know, a SAR build, I don't know, man. I, I'm on the fence about these kinds of things. Because of the way you have to, like, put your opponents together, it, it's just kind of annoying. It kind of, um, upsets me. You know, you pretty much have to play the hurting method with them. And, you know, I don't expect much from a boss killer, but sometimes, you know, I want to be able to do, like, enough damage. And he just doesn't do a lot of normal attack damage. Surprisingly, he has no attack augmentation on my part. And he actually does pretty decent damage, as far as I can tell, with his normal attacks. But just not really enough. So, yeah. Sar build. It's okay. Running a NAD build. NAD build. Kempachi raid. Full boost Renios. Let's get it popping. Well, alright. So, since we're running a NAD build, let's test out that string. One, two, three, four. So it's a four-hit attack string, fairly simple attack string. He does complete it in quick succession. He has okay range on it, so I can't really fault him at that. He is a revival six star, but if I look at the damage here, I increase his attack upwards of 80%, and he's not even cracking 2K. All right, let's see on that last one. Yeah, the last one he can crack 2K, but this is... He has that Myri syndrome, except he actually has some type of reach going on for him. You know, I'm not a really big fan of this. Without any SP, his strong attacks, obviously, they do suffer. You know, they, they do like 1 to 2k damage, so that's not too bad. Well, actually, like, it's 1.3k that they normally do on the reg, from what I'm seeing. At least the second and third. And the first, the first one still has the ability to do somewhere around 2 to 3k, which is not bad. 
I doubt it'll do 3k very often, but yeah. Um, I kind of, I, I prefer a nad build with him. I just wish the damage was a lot higher. I mean, I increased his damage, his uh, attack strength upwards by 80% myself. And, you know, I'm not seeing any type of special damage that he's doing. He just has a really fluid string, and I don't think that's enough for me to want to run an ad build on him, but it's okay. An ad. Well, there you have it. That's my 6-star 100% character analysis on Red Genryusai. In the end, you find out that this character is best with a sad build. A nad build gets the second score, and the last score goes down to the sar build. And the breakdown for this is fairly simple. When it comes down to a sad build, he just provides the best DPS with it. Fastest clear time, and the best DPS. Gripes with this build are just the fact that you have to get circumstantially close to your mobs and you actually have to have them positioned in the correct way to maximize the potential damage or AoE of his strong attacks and that is the biggest issue with using a sad build. But if you actually master his playstyle then you can actually you know get through mobs pretty fairly easily you know and it does sufficient amount of damage for a character that does not have frenzy. When it comes down to a NAD build, it is one of the smoother builds to use. Um, it provides this really clean string and a pretty decent range as well on top of it. Um, the only problem is his stat count is so low and he just doesn't have enough increase on that bruiser or his normal attack damage altogether and it just kind of stinks it falls apart. I went upwards of 80% extra increased attack on my part with full boosterinos and he just wasn't providing sufficient enough damage with his normal attack string. That being said I do find it a very smooth playstyle and that's that for that build. And a SAR build for reasons about his strong attacks and the fact that they're going to be doing less damage now. That's the reason why the SAR build just completely falls apart. It just really doesn't provide any crowd control because the AoE is kind of crappy on him. And that's that, right? When it comes down to how I feel about this character, um, he's a boss killer, alright? But once again, they're a dime a dozen. You know, we all have at least a couple boss killers tucked away that we use, and this guy probably wouldn't be my biggest choice. Um, he has that burn duration soul trait, so not even reusable on soul trait at all. And he's a red character, which means he can get buried amongst the many that are actually really good red characters with really redeemable qualities. So where does that leave him for me? This character gets an F rating, guys. You saw this coming, okay? He's a red character. Um, he has a lot of competition when it comes down to reds. And... As a boss killer, I don't even find that relevant enough for me to like this guy. I mean, if he's your only red, I just wouldn't level him up. I wouldn't waste the jewels on him, really. I mean, I did, but I wouldn't if I were you. And that's just my analysis. You're more than welcome to make up your own opinions on this matter because that's what this is about, guys. But either way, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. I'll be bringing you more Bleach Brave Souls content throughout the week. I'm your boy Scartoon, and I'm signing out of here. Do chill. Productions!